So when I was younger, uh, a lot of people would call Greensboro Greens boring, that it wasn't that exciting. Greensboro didn't have as much of the kind of performing arts and the international restaurants. And I think Greensboro at that time was always a little bit overshadowed by some of the major metros like a, a Raleigh or a Charlotte, that those were, Charlotte being the financial center and, and Raleigh being the state capital. And it's always been perceived as this great place to raise a family, uh, but not always the most exciting place. And that's really changing. You've determined that you want to add more cool factor to Greensboro. What does that mean and what do you have in mind? So I've traveled all over the place and I'm trying to bring back some different architectural styles to the city. Um, and that could be buildings or that could be greenways, that could be a lot of different things. And then there are some cool concepts that you haven't seen in Greensboro before. So things like a molecular mixology lab, one of um, probably 10 in the world. I'm trying to do things like urban mountain bike trails, uh, trying to do outdoor amphitheaters. Uh, we might wind up with zip lines in this area, you know, big chess boards outside, farmer's markets, rooftop terraces, all those sorts of things. Explain the connectivity factor you're trying to create. So in most cities, the focal point is downtown, and then you're trying to connect downtown with other areas. UNCG is just west of downtown. Um, North Carolina A&T is just east of downtown as well as Bennett College and I'd love to see each one of those connected more with the downtown area and connected with each other. That's been a big uh, part of the downtown Greenway loop that's going around the whole city to connect areas that with other parts of the city and then the main Greenway which goes up through the northwest someone could ride their bike from Summerfield to UNCG or A&T or downtown instead of having to be so reliant upon automobiles. You're also hoping to attract new companies to the area, is that right? Exactly. So when someone tours from Honda Jet or from a major company looking to locate in this area, they're looking at quality of life, they're looking at things that their uh, staff will be able to do, um, you know, how excited will people be that want to live here or work here, and this is enhancing all of that for them. about the economic impact for the city of Greensboro as a result of what you're working on? We're creating a lot of construction jobs and jobs through our different uh, industry, whether it's restaurants or the brewery or the theater. But we're also working with a lot of local artists and we consider local all of North Carolina. It's fantastic to be able to reach out to North Carolina artisans and allow them to showcase their work a former uh, Marine uh, recon sniper that's done the big robots over at Burger Warfare, um, artist for different murals and paintings. Talk about the phases of completion for this project. The upcoming projects we've got next, uh, we're expanding the brewery over and cleaning up that whole gracade area. So the retail component in front of Red Cinemas will start within the next uh, year, year and a half. And the residential component may be two or three years from now. So 10 years from now, let's say, as this area develops out, you'll see more mid-rise tall buildings. You'll see greenways that interact with uh, that residential. You'll see mixed-use developments where people can live and walk and play all in the same area. They can walk to the movie theater. They can walk to the grocery store. What is most exciting about this whole project for you? It's where I live, it's where I can make a big difference. Um, my friends are here, my family is here, my son who's growing up is here. You grew up here. I grew up here, so there's a, a big connection to Greensboro. Um, and I'd like to see it improve. So this is part of leaving a legacy in the area as well.